Hello teens, this is Thomas Wooldridge. Um, I went ahead and decided to get this thing recorded because yesterday we had a little problem with the Google Hangouts, so I apologize for the technical difficulties we had yesterday. So as requested, I went ahead and recorded, and we're going to just review uh, what we did yesterday so you have it on a record so you can just go ahead and uh, replay it as many times as you can. So hopefully by the time you finish this, you'll be able to accomplish day one. Okay, so the first thing we want to start off is we're going to do, we need to download SEO Quake. Now, I'm just used to having SEO Quake on Firefox. I'm sure you can have it on Chrome, but I have not added on the add-on on Chrome, nor have I added on the add-on Internet Explorer. So I use uh, Firefox for my research, so I'm just going to pop that up. And like I said, you're going to go to seoquake.com and you're just going to install it right there. And once you install it, you're going to get this toolbar. And this toolbar has a lot of information that would help you do your research. Now, this is not a, I could probably do a whole class on just SEO Quake, but ideally, I don't want to give you too much information, but just more enough information so you can quickly identify uh, the, the the keywords or the niche that you need to get into. Okay, so so that is seoquake.com. All right, now let's go back to on our next agenda is going to be niche research. Now for niche research, um, most of you guys should know that we're going to use Google uh, the keyword tool. So the keyword tool that that uh, I have up in yesterday's example, we use weight loss. So I just typed in weight loss. And just do a little search in your Google AdWords. There we go. Okay, now type in your niche research. Start all over here. There we go. Weight loss. And just like uh, we mentioned yesterday there's different types you have the broad match and exact match ideally you know yesterday we did a broad match just to go, go through this quickly but I went ahead and typed in exact match as well so you can see the differences nine times out of the ten no one types in the quotation marks uh, like when you type uh, when you do Google of course you know when you type in with a quotation mark you're telling Google you want the exact match but most of the times people put just type a keyword like weight loss and they'll just type normal uh, weight loss more more most of the people they're not as a power Google researcher as some so you're trying to capture the, the a wide audience so it's better to just go ahead and do a broad search but I went ahead and clicked on exact search just to give you an idea of what people are are looking for so what we do right here is I'm going to pick you want to look at something right here that says a competition. Now, ideally, if something is high, it's, it's very competitive, meaning that it's going to be very difficult to penetrate into the first page of Google. And that's what we want to do accomplish. Uh, so what I'm going to do is what we're also known as dr uh, drill down. So we're going to take weight loss is, a, is like a, the, the top keyword. And we're going to find out the sub keywords that's below weight loss to see if there's any... Uh, any good keywords that we can go ahead and penetrate. So I'm looking here at the quick trim rate loss, high. The global search is 590, very low, very low. Quick trim rate loss is a, I just know that they are a company, it's a brand name. So we don't want to mess with anything like that because this is a weight loss, a quick trim weight loss program. 
is why it's very competitive because these are people that's actually looking for that particular brand. Let me see, say fasting weight loss, medium, 1,900. So what I'm wanting to do is ideally 5,000 5, is the minimum. Ideally, it's 5,000 is the minimum keyboard searches that I like to target. Anything below that, it, it might not be worth it, depending on how um, good that keyword is. So right now, I'm not seeing anything that I can penetrate with this weight loss. Uh, I'm just sorting it out from there. 1 million, high, high. This is going to be difficult. I suggest, I'm just saying this the weight loss niche is very, very uh, competitive. Rapid weight loss, another uh, company. Weight loss tips. Very high. Weight loss foods. High. Free weight loss. High. Healthy weight loss. High. And weight loss products is high. Well, Obviously, this is something that I would not want to get into uh, because of the amount of uh, c competition it is. But let me just go ahead and just, we, we can just drill down even more. So this is a fasting weight loss. So let me just copy this keyword. And let's just go ahead and just drill it down. So here's some um, additional keyword ideas from fasting. So they got the juice fast, uh, let me just open it up, say this juicing fast, wow, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I am going to copy all this. It just hit save. And what I do is I'm going to download it as a um, I'm going to download it as a CSV file so that way I can sort it easily. open it up and I go ahead and copy the first row and I like to just go ahead and and sort filter and it automatically has this thing and what I want what ideally what I want to do is just sort from the largest to the smallest which it seems like it's already has all right so I'm gonna go back to this What's interesting is Juice Fast 246,000 searches. Now these are some very good keywords. Probably all the way from here, I can try to target. So what I do is I copy this, and what I'm going to try to do is find out what domain names are going to be available. So I go back and I look in the domain names. And I click on, I'll oh, use GoDaddy. And I'll just, well, let me go back. I click on, click on the bulk name search. And I'll just paste it. And I'll look for .com, .net. Seems like I gotta go ahead and remove this. See that's the the phrase name. Yeah. Okay. What I had to do, I had I had to remove all the spaces and all the brackets. So hopefully, um, this will work. So. What um what I do is I click on .com .net .org. Those are my top level domains that I uh, like to do. So let's hope. Let's see if they got any domain names are available. Okay. 
right, it looks like it's, let me, so let me copy, see what, oh, it looks like all of the domain names are available. Okay, good. So, looks like, all right, so I'm just going to go ahead and paste this on the, on the side. See if that lets me. Then what I'll do is I'll just match um, the these domain names with this keyword, and then and then I want to type in. Actually, I'll just go ahead and cut it, cut paste right here, and just add it to to, to show that that domain is available. Like how to juice, how to juice fast for weight loss. Oh, these are these are very good, very good. Okay, so say for instance, you know, ideally I want this one, juicefast.com. So let me see if they have that. Okay. All right. So, so let's just go ahead and do uh, juicing weight loss. Juicing. I'll just pick this right here. How to juice fast for weight loss. So I'll just copy this, and you see the .com is available. So I'll go in into my um, Firefox browser with the SEO Quake, and I'll enter it. Okay, so what we're looking for is PR rank, link index, how many um, how many websites within the given domain is indexed, link back, how many index are being Let's say Alexa ranked, and then the age of the domain name. So as we can see from this, that this is very much doable. PR2, so it's a very old domain, so that does have some some effects. So here's those. This looks like an article was ranked, and sometimes when an article is ranked high, so none of this is usually put into consideration other than the fact that the root domain has a PR3 on it. Okay, juice fasting. This is a very good domain. Let's see how old it is. Okay, see, yeah, this is going to be very hard to penetrate. Oh, look at here. This is something we might be able to get into. How to juice fast for weight loss. Okay, this is another article uh, blog. Uh, PR2. PR1, PR1, okay, this one I would not do this because it is a lot of PR page rank, some good page rank going on, a lot of uh, backlinks, a lot of links index, but for just informational purposes, we're just going to go ahead and move on uh, with this, this one. So what I do is I would register this domain name and then set up the hosting on your account. Okay, now I'm not gonna go into details on how to set up hosting. Many of you guys probably have hosting or if you need hosting, like I said, come and contact me. I'll go ahead and set you up uh, with an account. Now, what we're gonna do is talk about article, how to build an article. Now, with that same keyword that we're gonna use, how to juice fast for weight loss, I'm going to put a search in. Now, remember when I said that you should look at these related keywords? It's very important that you use that to help you uh, write articles and explain how to get your articles going. Now, ideally, what you want to do is have this to be your main website. Then you would want to write articles and have Web 2.0 properties with these keywords and then have have these Web, web 2.0 and article sites all point to your money site, which is your blog. And you see a good picture of that 
right here, we go back to our task list. Which is right here. So if you imagine this is how to um, juice fast for weight loss and all around these area will be your uh, related these are your related articles so these will be part of the the spoke so to say so as we go along you're going to be creating a lot of web 2.0 properties and getting a lot of article sites and they will all will be pointed here and that this is how it it, it gives you a strong backbone on strengthening your keyword by having these uh, satellite sites all pointing to you and it gives you more relevancy on there. Uh, so I think, and especially as many of you, um, if English is not your, your primary language, it, uh, article writing seems to be very difficult for people and it's understandable. I mean, English is my first language and writing an article is a boring and tedious task. Uh, I know it's very easy to go and get something like that outsourced, but I think it's good just so you can learn to just go ahead and start on your own. So ideally what you want to have is have an article between 400 to 600 words long, nothing too long. You want to separate it by eight to 10 paragraphs, three to five cents a piece. Must have only one keyword phrase per paragraph. Uh, in each article theme needs to have buying keywords like cheap, buy, review, discount, top 10. And that's very important. It's very important to have that because you want to attract the right person to come to your site, not just some uh, lurkers. Uh, you want to vary your title when you submit it to each, uh, to each of the directories. It, this is because when somebody searches, you don't want it to have all top five or top six searches with the exact same title because it's obviously it's duplicated so you could just vary the the, the title for every different uh, article now this will help you uh, write articles if you establish like a, a, a plan like I said what you want to do is you want to have your main keyword and then you want to have a introduction Okay, and then what you do is have a main point, main point one, and have a sub, main point, A, sub, main point, B, and you want to do that for the other three paragraphs, main point two, and have the sub, main point three, then all the subs, and then finally the conclusion. If you was to keep the main um, keyword and then had some of these recommended keywords, say, uh, like juice fast, lose weight, I mean you could literally have, take a swipe a couple of these keywords and use it as one of your main points. That'll make it more easier for you to write and kind of remove that that writer's block that a lot of people have. So that, in a nutshell, is some tips on uh, writing articles. So today, I'm hoping that you guys will be able to get day one done. That is the goal. And I see there's a lot of blank spaces, so I'm encouraging you guys to start taking action. You see, I've already done my new research and my... Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be targeting dating sites. I know that's going to be very difficult, but I think I'll, I'll be able to accomplish that. So that's my goal, and that is today's uh, training. So hopefully you guys um, know, got any questions, feel free to uh, post it on the Skype group chat uh, or send me a message directly. Ideally, I want to put it on Skype group so everybody can reference it and because if you got a question, somebody else might have that same question, and I'll be able to answer it right away for the whole team. So. Thank you very much, and let's start taking action.